driving round all night. Right, well, that's why I'm saying we should go home and figure out what to do, love. Can't we just bury him somewhere? Right, what do we dig with our burr Well, it's better taking him out. Look, I don't know, Debbie, I don't know what to do. I don't know any more about shifting bodies than you flaming do. I'll tell you what I do know. We've come this far and just freak out and blow it all out. And if you want to bury him, I want to spare me. What if someone sees us? What? It's, it's the middle of the night. Jasmine, who's going to be up for this time? Honestly. Is it settled in? Yeah, I've given him my bed. Whether I'll actually sleep is another matter. Well, at least he's safe. For now. I know he might seem uh, mouthy, but a few weeks here will soon sort him out. Don't know. Whatever I do, I always seem to get it wrong with him. All parents make mistakes. Still saw him as a kid. I got no idea he's involved with drugs or gangsters. Well, now you do. You can be there for him. I'm not sure that he wants me to be. <laughs> Too bad. We are all he's got. He needs someone to fight for him right now. What if I can't do it? Well, you've no choice. I can't count the times I... I swore that I'd wash my hands if I can. But I could never go through with it. Because when it comes down to it... You'll always love them, no matter what they do. What's wrong with being back? We'll park in the garage be as quick as we can. No one will even know we're here. We're only driving on. No one knows what we're doing anyway, do they? I've seen you, have you? No. She's uh, she's been with us the whole time and we've not had a thing, have we, Jazz? I need to speak to him. Will you let me know when he rings, please? He's not going to. He's, he said he was going away. Oh, I, I thought that was tomorrow. No, he's probably changed his mind, hasn't he? You know how it is. <laughs> how would you know? Well, we don't. We just, you know, we presume that's why he's not been in touch. She'll let you know if she hears anything. All right. Cheers. What the hell did you sign that for? Oh, I thought that was the story. Shut up until we've shut the door. Just, just play it out. Did you have to say something? No, but look, look, listen. <laughs> Waited until we got our story straight. You know what I mean? Mind you, listen, it might get him off our back, you know what I mean? What if it doesn't? Well, we've got bigger problems to worry about right now, haven't we, Jazz? Have you got a spare, you? There might be one somewhere. Right, well, give me the keys, see if you can't find a map. Come on. Listen to me. You need to hold it together or we're never going to get through this. Is that this time? Uh... Someone from work asking me to cover a shift. Does anyone there know about Shane? I doubt it. Would have heard by now, wouldn't I? Are you going to say anything? I can't. Never believed me, would they, after what happened before? I've... Yeah, I know, but you... You, you can't just let him, let him get away with it. He is corrupt. Well, I don't know that he is. Jasmine seems certain before. Well, I'll talk to her then. Not much more I can do about it, is there? Right, I'm off to bed. I'm dead on my feet. Still, I'm not sure I can sleep. Hmm? Oh, you will when you've supped that. <laughs> Get some rest, you need it. Hi, hi. 
What are you doing up? Uh, just getting a drink. What, with your coat on? I've told you, you're not going anywhere tonight. Well, leave you to fight it out yourselves. You can't force us to stay, you're not the police. Just your family. I don't even know who half the people are here. I'm going home. You can't. Your dad, he's still mad with you for hitting Sandra. I've talked to him around before, I'll do it again. No, I don't, I don't think you understand how upset he is. I'm not sure that he even wants you back there anymore. He still won't kick us out. He's always been there for me. Unlike you. Fine. Have it your way, but I'm not having you walking out there alone. If you insist on going, then I'll drive you myself. You two do no gardening. I can't find one spade. Right, I'll look in the shed. There's probably <gasps> no, no. I'll do it. Um, I, I need to be alone anyway. It's just starting to hit her. What do you think she's going to crack? I don't know. She wanted to give herself in at first, but I won't let her. You think we did the right thing? I don't. I don't know. I just. There's no point in stressing about it now, is there? We've just got to hope she doesn't lose it, love. <sighs> I thought you were with Donna. No, I left her when Marlon came home. Has she told him yet? No, she hasn't. She's not going to do, Ross. She's, um, she's decided she's going to end it with you instead. What have you said to her? Well, not much. I just pointed out the stupidity of leaving a man like Marlon for an idiot like you. But, Paddy, it's, it's none of your business what she think does. Because you'll stand by and let you ruin their lives. This! Stops now. There's nothing I can do if it's not there. So I'm supposed to walk all the way up? Oh, don't be daft. No, you're just gonna have to stop here till the morning. You promised you'd drive me tonight. Eli should have had the van back by now. He only said he was going down to the pub. Yeah, well, maybe he's still there. Why don't we go and have a look? I am not going searching for it at this time of night. It's down the road. You really don't want to stay here, do you? Fine. But if it's not there, then you're stopping here no matter what. Is that old quarry past Skipdale? Well, look, it's too late, isn't it, to go that far? Right, right. Well, what about Home Farm at the woods? At least we know where we're going there. Right, well, the closer we are, the longer we have to dig, don't we, so? You reckon we've got time to do it anyway? Well, I don't know. It depends how long it takes her. Find a flipping spade. Let's just get everything together, yeah? So we're just ready to chuck it all in, you know what I mean? You're gonna bury the cash that you took and all? What? Well, come on, Eli. There's no way that you'd have left that money for the police. I deserve something for shifting bodies about in the middle of the night, Debbie. Just gonna go and get the wish I don't that. care. I don't care. She can't come over all moral when she's just bad so what a death. Chas, what are you doing? <sighs> That's exactly what I was about to ask you. What's going on? <sighs> what are you doing? You nearly gave me flaming heart failure creeping up on us like that. I thought somebody had broken in. No, the, the van's been making noises, so I brought it to Deb to have a once-over, you know? At this time, there's no big deal. Oh, so it's all right now? Good, because I need to take Aaron home. No, no, you can't. I've got a delivery at morning. I've loaded it all up now, so... Well, you're going to have to unload it again. Oh, Chaz, why don't you just take the cab? What is going on? There's nothing going on. you got something dodgy in there, haven't no. you? No. Of course they have. Chaz just wanted to borrow the van. Yeah, only these two are up to summer. Look, we just thought you'd prefer to borrow the taxi. Look, it's outside, Chaz. Look. Oh. No, there is definitely something wrong with you two. Now, whatever dodgy business he has got you involved in, watch out, because they always go pear-shaped in the end, OK? Aaron? That's it. I want this finished now. Look, I, I just need to talk to her and find out what's going you, on. It's over. She could be telling Marlon right now. Yes, she could be. But I know Donna, and I know that when it comes down to it, she would never break his heart like that. Why do you think she hasn't done it yet? She doesn't want to hurt him. And you really think she'll ever forgive you if you go around there and blow it when she doesn't want him to know? She's got no choice. Oh, you. Yeah. He's going to find out whether she wants him to know or not. Well, you could always find a way of keeping Shane quiet if you wanted to. And what if I don't? Mate, 
If she's made up her mind, you're gonna have to let her go. I can't, Paddy. This isn't a stupid fling. I love her. Look, I, I know I've been rubbish with women in the past, but it's different with her. She's the first person I could imagine spending the rest of my life with. In fact, I can't imagine it without her. Well, you're gonna have to, aren't you? She's already married to somebody else, and if she wants to stay with him, there is nothing you can do about it. You don't need to see me to the door, I can let myself in. Well, I want to be here when you talk to your dad. You'll suit yourself. You ain't gonna be happy about waking up at this time. I'll take my chances. Found it, eh? Yeah, yeah, he got himself into a spot of bother, but we've managed to sort it out now. You could have just called. She give me a lift home. I thought I made it clear. Sandra won't have it anymore. I'll talk to her in the morning and smooth things out. It's too late. I hoped your mum would have explained that by now. I didn't feel that it was my place. You serious? You're actually kicking me out? I've given you a chance. After chance. Try to explain how much pressure you've put the family under. Yeah, well, it won't happen again. You say that every time, but it always does. Well, get me stuff if that's how you feel. I've packed you a few bits already. <sighs> I'm sorry it's come to this. Look. We just need a break. I'm not the one who killed him. Because it will take forever if we try to do it. Well, it's going to take forever anyway, Debbie. Grounds rock hard, so, isn't well, it? You need to dig harder than that. Well, will you give me a chance? How, how big do you think this guy is? He's six foot. Six flaming foot. I'm going to have to dig another grave. He's going to kill me in Orvis, you know. Wouldn't it be easy if we put him in the lake? Huh? Where are you going? My mates. Your dad asked me to look after you. You knew he was going to kick us out before we came here, didn't you? I tried telling you. Yeah, but you didn't try stopping us, though, did you? Yeah, well, you wouldn't listen. I figured that you needed to talk to him yourself. You mean you wanted me to fight with him so I'll come crying to you? Uh, no, that's silly. I don't care what he says. I'd rather end up on the streets than back living with you. I know I've let you down in the past, but I swear, Aaron, I swear I'm not going anywhere now. Yeah, well, I am. Yeah, you were the big man in front of everyone, don't you? But I saw how much you were hurting. Now, I don't expect us to patch things up straight away, but what I can give you is somewhere safe and where you'll be cared for. And if you haven't got that, then what have you got? What do you think? It looks deep enough to me, that. We're never going to dig a hole by the time it's light, are we? Well, not without anybody else helping, we're not. No, look, I'm going to drag him over me. You go and find some rocks or something. What for? Well, we don't want to go through all this hassle, do we? Just bring pop up in a week or two. Whew. I thought she loved me. She probably did. Doesn't mean saving is going to last, does it? These things never do. You don't know that. Mate, she's trying for a baby with Marlon. What if she wants kids with you? We could talk about it. <laughs> You've never been able to commit to a relationship. What makes you think you could cope with a family? I'll be willing to give it a go for Donna. And what if it's too much? What's she left with then? I don't know. All I know is that I love her more than ever now. Then surely you want what's best for her. Do you really think she's better off leaving her husband for a chance and it might work out with you? 
please, just think about it. And for once, try and do something right. Get some sleep. You'll feel better in the morning. Doubt it. I know you're upset. But what did you think he'd do after you attacked his wife? Take your side and then tell you everything was going to be all right? Just didn't think he'd chuck us out on the streets. Like it or not, we're your family and all. You're more of a dingle than you realise. A stinking drunk who sleeps with his own cousins? I don't think so. Night, Mum. Great to be home. I don't know, I don't know how it needs to be, love. Right. <sighs> I'm going to go and get some more. You two start filling up. We don't need to get light. Yeah. <sighs> Jazz. Jazz, you look really cold, love. Come here, let me put this on you. I don't want you getting sick. OK. I don't need looking after and I certainly don't deserve sympathy. <clears throat> I don't know when it got us into this. <clears throat> Marlon's going to wonder where I am if he wakes up and sees that I've gone. So you've not told him yet? I keep trying, but every time I go for the words, I just can't do it. OK, then. Maybe you shouldn't. I thought that's what you wanted. Yeah, it is, but only if it's what you want, too, and I'm... I'm not sure if it is anymore. No, it's not. But I, um, I thought we didn't have a choice. What about Shane? Well, Jasmine and Debbie think he's gone away. They've said he's gone on holiday, but it sounded more to me like he's running scared. You think he'd just go without saying anything? He'll be more worried about his little secret getting out than telling Marlon ours. <sighs> so I guess there's a chance he never has to know, not, not unless you want him to. About us. Paddy said he'll tell Marlon if he finds out we're still seeing each other. Guess we have to call it a day. Not much point in carrying on if he's not going anywhere anyway. Is that what you want? If you know it's not what I want. Donna, I'd do anything to be with you, but not if it's gonna make you unhappy. <gasps> Sorry. Oh, it's okay. Best to walk away now, eh? At least that way no one really gets hurt. Girls, are you ready? Yeah? Come on, then. Pick it up. <coughs> you ready, yeah? Yeah. Right, one, <laughs> two, three, get in there. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi. Poor Ross, do you reckon that's really it for him and Donna? Hmm, I wonder. Well, Mr. Hill will have a lot of ammunition for his weekly look at all the small screen highlights. Tomorrow evening at 8.15, more Harry's TV burp. And Maria doesn't believe anyone, and I don't blame her. Corrie's next. <laughs>